Namaste everyone, welcome to another episode of the Avocado Insider series. It's your host Harshit Goda. In this episode, we continue our discussion with Arturo Velasco of Blue Drop Nursery, Mexico, and we discuss what kind of food stocks they use in their nursery. Now, Blue Drop is a clonal nursery, so uh, the varieties that they have, they have both uh, clonal and seedling, but uh, they prefer to focus more on the clonal ones. And uh, can you tell me a bit about the rootstocks that you use? What rootstocks do you use? Well, in Mexico, we're mainly stuck with Mexican avocado rootstock. Yeah. We're barely diversifying to different kinds of rootstocks, um, mainly because we've always had the good climates. We've always had the good soil for Mexican rootstock where they develop very well. Uh, but since we're starting to plant in different avocados and different soils and different climates. Now we find the need that we need to use different rootstocks for those kind of soils and those kind of climates. So which ones do you use? I think on your website it said Antiliano and Mexicano rootstocks were the ones that you are using in your nursery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the Antiano rootstock that we use, yeah. that rootstock, it's, it's it's fairly new. Okay. Out here also. Yeah. Because uh, we haven't really used it that much. Yeah. But it's a very good rootstock. Uh, yeah. It has a very big seed. We mainly use that rootstock for our um, clonal um, propagation. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about Mexicano? And the Mexicano. In the nursery, we have it, but yeah. we really more focused on propagating clonal than seedling. So if a client wants a, a big lot of a plant and he wants a Mex Mexican seedling, we'll propagate it, we'll make it for him. But if not, we're sticking pretty much to clonal. And now... The most important question that I had was, uh, which is better, clonal or seedling, and why? Both of them are good, but I think clonal is one of the newest ways of uh, farming nowadays. And like a lot of people may be kind of maybe scared to do it because we really don't know what could happen. But the rest of the world is just using clonal and they're doing very well. They're getting good uh, yields. Um, why not in Mexico? You know, Mexico, we have the good climate, we have the good soil. I'm thinking it's going to be a very good, very good change for us. We get hopefully more steady yields throughout the year and uh, less, we don't have to plant so many trees uh, because uh, different kinds of fungi like Doptera. So that would be a lot of help for us, you know, with, um, with the new rootstocks that we have that we have high tolerance to the So okay. that would be, that would be a lot of help for uh, the farmers out here and around the world, you know. And uh, what difference do rootstocks make? Uh, do rootstocks affect the yield as well? like the productivity of the uh, tree? I'd like to think they do because <laughs> your um, tree pretty much is going to, everything it's going to um, assimilate, it's all going to assimilate to the roots Yeah. pretty much. So I think, I think me personally, that your rootstock, it's the most important part of your tree. It's what's going to help you produce more. I hope you found the video interesting. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. But before you go, don't forget to hit the notification icon and the subscribe button.